Hello and welcome to this video on volumes of compound solids. And by a compound solid, I just mean a solid which is composed of two different common types of solids. So we can see, for example, this solid is composed of a cylinder at the top and a cone at the bottom. And just like with a compound 2D shape, where we just find the area of each of the different pieces, we just need to find the volume of each of the different solids here and just add them together to give the total volume. So let's do that for this particular example here, where we can see that this total height is 14 centimetres and the height of the cylinder alone is 10 centimetres, and that means the height of the cone must be 14 minus 10, which is 4 centimetres. And we can see that the radius of the cylinder, because it's attached to this cone here, must be the same as the radius of the cone. So the radius of the cone is also 5 centimetres. So now we can just find the volume of the different bits. So the volume of the cylinder first. Do you remember that the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h? So if we use the values we have here, it's pi times the radius squared, which is 5 squared, times by the height of 10, and that gives us 250 pi. If you did it on a calculator and press the SD key, you could get it as a decimal, but we'll worry about that at the end. And the volume of a cone, the formula for that, which we explore in another video, is a third pi r squared h. So if you use the numbers provided, we've got a third times pi times r squared, so that's the radius squared, 5 squared, times by the height, which is 4, and that gives you 100 over 3 pi, if you're doing a calculator. So that means the total volume is just the sum of those, so 250 pi plus 100 over 3 pi, and that is equal to 850 over 3 pi, that's what my calculator is telling me, and if I just press the SD key, that gives me 890.1, and it's in centimetres cubed. Now, what about this second one here? A sphere is placed in a cylinder so that it touches all its faces. So we go, we've got a sphere here in a cylinder, and it's touching all the, the wall. Cylinder. Determine the percentage of the volume of the cylinder that is unoccupied. So basically, we're trying to find the volume of the bits of the cylinder which aren't occupied by the sphere. So it's outside the sphere, but inside the cylinder. Now, to do that, we can just subtract volumes. We can find the volume of the cylinder and subtract the volume of the sphere, and that will give you the volume of what remains around the edges of the sphere. So let's do that. Let's find the volume of the cylinder first. Now, notice that the radius of the sphere has got to be the same as the radius of the cylinder. So when we do pi r squared h, the r is just 4 again, so pi times 4 squared. And the height, well, can you see that radius there of the sphere is 4, and that length there is also 4, so the total height must be the diameter of that sphere, which is 8. So it's going to be 8 here, and if we put that into our calculator, we get 128 pi. What about the volume of the sphere? Well, the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So it's 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed, so 4 cubed. And that gives us 256 over 3 pi. Now, we want the volume of the unoccupied part of the centre. So we subtract these two, so the volume of the unoccupied bits is equal to 128 pi minus the 256 over 3 pi, and that is 128 over 3 pi. Now we want the percentage of the volume which is unoccupied. So the percentage unoccupied is going to be equal to, well, the actual volume unoccupied, 128 over 3 pi, and we want that as a fraction of the total volume that could be occupied, which is the volume of the cylinder, which is 128 pi, and then to convert this fraction occupied into the percentage occupied, we would times by 100. Now notice the top and bottom of this fraction by pi. And if you were to do this on a calculator, you would just end up with a third. So it's a third times 100 to convert a third into percentage. And that's going to give us 33 
0.3%. So that's interesting. So a third of this cylinder is not occupied by a sphere. And that also means that two thirds of the cylinder is occupied by the sphere.